nearby the the the, plate, the seat of power, and you get those crazy you get the crazy kids over in Keene who uh, might not have might not have accomplished a whole lot, but r- real early on. Uh, especially considering how how vocal Ian is, and the fact that he has a stinking seven day a week radio show where he can talk about these things, I didn't know about. I I had never heard of the Free State Project until I, until I heard it on Free Talk Live. I I I was living in New Hampshire before I was aware of the Free State Project. I've, I've run across people like that. It's a, every day who who are who who. And that's what someone asked uh, when I pointed out that you know if the Free State Project is going to hold the Crypto Six up as some sort of example of how things are getting done here in New Hampshire, then they should actually show some support Mm -hmm. for the Crypto 6. Like at least linking our website or something, right? Oh, yeah, but that and, and but said, it all goes back to the Colbert Report. <laughs> it goes it, to that bad press. Is, is, it, is it good press or does it make us all look stupid? And that's, well, and that's, and matter, that, that's, it's not a matter of getting press. It's a matter of, you know, we're members of the, com- the libertarian community here. We've gotten the spotlight repeatedly. Helped a lot of people move here. Helped, and, and, yes. and, it's, and it's like people just forgot that. Yes. And, and that's why, by the way, I'm, and no, they're I'm saying not a member. nothing about it. Ian is the 420th, 420th signer of the Free State Project. He is one of the earliest people involved in this thing. Yeah. And they're not saying a word about it. He's been promoting the idea of moving to New Hampshire for the last 15 freaking years. And they're not in his corner? Are you kidding me? It's, it's cowardice. But yeah, the... The sheriff campaign that got, you know, international headlines happened here in Keene. The Robin Hood stuff that got onto the Colbert Report happened here in Keene. Mm-hmm. A lot of this happened here in Keene. The several who were arrested by the FBI, obviously not for money laundering, happened here in Keene. They're passing a budget, which Sununu, a pretty hardcore conservative. No, no. <laughs> no. You already know this person's crazy when they think that he's a conservative. Yeah. He's a rhino. He needs to move to Massachusetts because he'll be welcome there with open arms. Uh, he is uh, conservative on some things, but a hardcore? Come on, man. He's got an R next to his name, and that's about it. So Sununu calls it the budget off the rails. Why? Because there's the clause in there that takes his powers away. His, 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 to- his executive uh, powers that he's been abusing for, an, for over a year – that's what he's mad about the budget. It doesn't have anything to do with the money because you know what? The budget's too, da- it's too damn big. I don't care what you say. It's We're too gonna get further damn into big. It, but let's go to the phones. We've got Bad Slave calling Bad Slave. You're on Free Talk Live. Howdy. Hey, what's uh, on thanks your mind? Thanks for taking my call. Uh, well, let's uh, get back to uh, the secession idea. Now, I think secession may be required. But I think that uh, long before that, uh, we have to get our general court online with, uh, you know, just eliminating everything unconstitutional that the federal government is doing and uh, banning and sanctioning any any uh, federal agent that uh, that in, impinges on those. Um, uh, activities. I think and, secession uh, is a lot easier yeah. than trying to rein in the courts and get them to actually enforce the Constitution. I don't care about the no, Constitution. No, no, this is not court. This is not court. This is well. You, you said rain, you said general court system. So I assumed you were talking about yeah, courts when you said it was about courts. It's called in in New Hampshire. So. You know, so it, all right, so yeah, and, that, and that's and, and by the way, that's it's written. That's how that's how it's supposed to work. That we're supposed to try to uh, work through the system and get things done. And if that fails, the next option is to rebel. And that's how our tenth. That's how yeah. New Hampshire's tenth amendment, by the way, is written. It's that if we can't work through the system, that was where you rebel against the government and either uh, replace it and or just change it completely. Bad Slave, thank you so much for the call tonight. You're absolutely right about the New Hampshire Constitution. It is hardcore in some places, and that's one of them. Like uh, the, the Second Amendment of the United States Constitution is the right to keep and bear arms, and we know that it's because it's necessary at some point, and it, this has been true over and over throughout human history, to rebel against your government. That's why the Second Amendment exists. That's correct. If, the, ha- if the first one doesn't work— you have the second one as backup. New Hampshire's constitution explicitly states 
that we have the right to overthrow the government of New Hampshire if all other options have failed. And Correct. I've got to tell you, we can't even hold our politicians accountable anymore. Can't even get in touch with them anymore. They're meeting in secret in places we can't access. That's another thing that COVID has brought to us. All of these secretive meetings that they can just have behind closed doors – uh, it makes it makes it so easy to 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 get prying eyes off of what you are you know the manipulation that's actually going down. And the government hates being watched. They hate it when they know that the public is watching. That's why the FBI confiscates the DVRs and security camera systems at my house and these other places that were recently raided. Cops hate being recorded. Elected not even elected officials, but people working in your city hall. They hate being recorded. They'll oh, probably absolutely. call the cops on you if you try to go in and record them, even though it's your First Amendment right to go in there and record them. And that's what these First Amendment checks are all about. Will the government actually uphold the First Amendment? They won't. They will do everything they can to avoid it. I mean, here in New Hampshire, I think it was in Portsmouth. They called the police on someone who was just there, just filming, just walking around, being polite, but filming. Mm -hmm. The government hates having our eyes on them. We've also got Lee on the line. Lee, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi. I'm in Michigan, and I wanted to talk about the COVID situation here, or supposed COVID situation. Now, they're saying that we have the most case, new cases in the country right now, that the cases, number of cases are exploding. But we've also had the most restrictive lockdown measures of any state in the country as well i thought california was the strictest and you have new york you have lots of new england states who are very strict and for some reason it seems that the that these are the states with the highest numbers for whatever reason that's just how that because what happened to florida and texas why are their numbers so low i mean they've got numbers but they're very low in florida i don't even know if florida ever closed I don't like, all I know is they had they had their spring break. They got all their kids. They got lots of old people, and yet they're doing pretty good. What's 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 going on with that? Michigan, well, how is how? Way. Let me ask you something about you in Michigan. Hold on, let, me, let him when answer. You, when let, you, me, let him answer your question. Go ahead, Lee. So the situation here is we had the measures got so out of control that we actually had people ready to kidnap the governor and put her on trial. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, sure about that. <laughs> Lee, can you stick around for a minute? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I remember that. You had to create, and they thought, tried to make them sound like the, uh, actually, I think they were right-wing loonies that were, well, I'm sure that were basically were. looking at the 10th Amendment of uh, New Hampshire's Constitution, like, you know what? We can't work through the system. It's time for a revolution. We're going to take this, this person. We're going to Kidnapper. It, it was a bad. It was, <laughs> it a, was bad a bad idea. idea. There's no doubt of that. Six zero three two eight three six one six zero. More coming up. It's Free Talk Live. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com to receive our.